I am Troy Rainbow from Stargaze Productions and the University of New South Wales. And hi, I'm Stephanie Peters. I am also from Stargaze Productions. We're here along with computer programmer Lee Mayer to talk to you about The Door in Question, which is an extended reality theatre work exploring the often taboo topic of schizophrenia and psychosis. This work is created through a complex live theatre setup that makes use of a wide range of technology, VR, 360 film, AI, and ambisonic and immersive audio. The motivations behind this work were that my mother was diagnosed with schizophrenia and my father with severe PTSD. As a child, I was removed from their care and made a ward of the state because they weren't able to care for me. These stories and my own experiences with psychosis have been the primary basis for the creation of The Door in Question. Today, we'll be stepping you through how this multimodal work functions and what it aims to do for understanding mental health. There are a lot of components and the season is unfortunately on hold due to lockdowns. So we can't show you everything that we wanted to, but feel free to ask questions and we'll do our best to answer them. This is an intimate experience with only four participants at a time. Whilst an interactive veneer is present, there is a strict sequence of events that occurs in a highly curated way. We don't have time to show you all of it, but we'll focus on some of the key aspects as well as what it does differently to other simulations of psychosis. Also, please be aware that some people may find some of the themes distressing. The narrative is built from the writings of my mother. These were letters, birthday cards and submissions to the courts. Four characters exist within a delusional world. Mummy, potty, child and a strange bureaucracy known as the World Congress. According to the first three characters, the World Congress is attacking them with a sonic weapons program known as Medusa, mob access deterrent using silent audio, intervening in their lives through all means possible. Four other delusions persist throughout the experience, and you can see those there, one of them being the legislation bears semblance to witchcraft, which is illegal. With that in mind, we'll guide you through how the work is staged piece by piece. Four participants begin in VR headsets. A filmed story caught between suburban idealism and the decaying reality of a dysfunctional family, mostly shot from the point of view of a child. Mummy tells Hottie. Hey, don't worry about the wind tipping over the caravan. Go fetch the Ever hose. since the Medusa program began with the clouds feeding, it's become a natural phenomenon. So they can water their plants together. Whilst in this figurative blindfold, they are wheeled to four separate rooms. Each room is representative of one of the characters of the film. Made under obsolete and abrogate legislation with, in fact, significant semblances of witchcraft or Satanism. Only very nearly recently made legal practices. As the film ends, the participant sees themselves on a screen inside the virtual reality space. Now aware of themselves as the mediator between two realities embodied within this psychotic episode that surrounds them, they are instructed to remove their headset. If you are somehow of the belief that affixing a device to your head will help you escape yourself and what is with you here, you are surely and surely mistaken. The purely physical experience begins. Delusional audiovisual narrations play. Different for each room, they reflect the characters' different interpretations of the same events. Other voices begin to speak from the objects in the room, the toilet, the radio, whilst a sequence light and effects show illuminates aspects of the room that link with the narrations. Directional speakers emit high-pitched frequencies enacting the sonic weapons of the Medusa program. When entering the experience, 
The participants were handed a phone, but they thought nothing of it. It now rings. It's an AI version of the character whose room they're in. You are standing in Mummy's kitchen. You hear her voice from everywhere, explaining everything, sort of. You want to believe her version of the story. The phone in your pocket starts to buzz. The caller ID says, Mummy, buzz, buzz, like you're trapped in a quiz that has only incorrect answers. Will you answer the phone? You have not made the wisest choice. Good luck. Hello, Lee speaking. I'm calling to speak to your subconscious because it doesn't know how to lie. I'll say a word, then you say the first word that pops into your head. What would occur to you when I say the word, girlfriend? Um, pretty. People desire pretty. People desire porn. Porn is found on the internet. Satanists are found on the internet. Satanists practice black magic. You sick bastard, googling black magic to try to help you hypnotize women into being your girlfriend. Okay, I'm hanging up now before my own bot reveals too many of the se my secrets. Hi, I'm Lee Meyer, AI programmer for the door in question and Troy's brother. I wanted to simulate in the previous slides a bit of how it feels to get a call from the delusion bot halfway through the performance. It'll speak to you using a deep fake of the actors who play the characters who are represented by the room that you're in. And then it will invite you to play this weird word association game where it comes up with these crazy delusions based on what you say, but makes you feel like you're the crazy one and you're not playing the game properly. Um, simulating a bit how it feels to have a mentally ill parent and feel like, well, if only I'd said something different, then maybe they wouldn't have hung up on me and triggered the um, IoT effects that are sort of jump scares that seem like something has gone wrong. And you feel, especially when it seems like the AI can understand you, you feel like you somehow caused it. And if you'd said something different, things might have gone better. Here's how that works. Um, so let's say a person said poo to the bot and it chose out of its four associations to associate that with witchcraft. So it has like a massive graph database, almost similar to the human brain and of, of concepts and their associations. And it'll use them to find a connection between the concepts of poo and witchcraft like so. Here it is building up a sentence. So it came up with that. You'll notice when it came up with this association delusional string, it ignored toilet and smelly because those didn't help it make its point. The mental health profession is making increasing use of virtual reality technology, such as Mel Slater's perspective taking work or Jennifer Nikolova's The Wearable, which is a DIY psychosis simulator. These works are aimed at empathy training for the mental health profession and focus on symptomology of schizophrenic experience, such as voice hearing or fractured slash intense vision. We feel this is a little two dimensional. Philosopher Volta Kustas, who has lived experience with psychosis, argues that often mental health professionals aren't interested in the highlights and pitfalls of madness, only in identifying it as a clear and distant object to eradicate. He describes psychosis as the escape from all language, a liberation by fire from the house of being, that mental health professionals fear getting burnt from if they're too close. What the door in question does is simulate the subjective experience at the psychological, phenomenological level, trying to bring people inside this liberating fire through its complex mix of technology in a singular experience. As you can see, it has had a profound impact on participants. Effects we hope to assess further with more performances. This approach from the subjective point of view takes into account emerging understandings of neurodiversity and ultimately displays what emotions such as love and sadness look like from within a schizophrenic state of mind. To finish off, here are some future objectives that you can see on your screen. Thank you so much for having us. We look forward to answering your questions.